Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wikidesign. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an anchor link using Elementor. This is a question that I get asked pretty often and it's something that's really easy to do. There are actually two different ways to create anchor links, so I'm going to show you both ways today. So what I mean by an anchor link is this, a link that takes you down to a different part of the page. So in my example, I have this big hero area on the page, and then we have this button. And if I click this button, it takes me down to this area here. So that's what we're going to do today. I've opened this page up in Elementor, and what we need to do first is create the area that we want to add the anchor. So I want this button to go down to this section here. So what I can do is go to my widgets and type in anchor and you'll see that a menu anchor widget will come up. If I drag that over to this section, from here I can add an ID for this anchor. So I'm just going to put this as intro. You can put whatever you want, but you just have to make sure that in the next step it matches. So the next thing that I need to do is go up to this button and then I need to edit that and under the link, I need to put a link to the anchor. So in order to do that, I would type in the pound or hashtag sign and then the ID that I just created. So we can test this out by clicking and you can see that it goes down the page. But there is actually another way to do this. And this is the way that I actually prefer because you don't need to add any other widgets and it keeps your page cleaner. So I'm actually going to get rid of this anchor widget altogether. And instead of using an anchor, I'm going to click on this section. I'm going to edit this section by going to the advanced tab here and then under CSS ID, I'm going to put in intro. So I'm basically doing the same thing that I did by dragging over the anchor widget, but we don't have an extra widget on the page. I like this better because if for whatever reason that menu anchor widget gets deleted, it won't work anymore, but this is much easier, in my opinion, to manage. So I like to do it this way. So if we go up again to this, you can see it does the same thing. So there are a lot of different ways that you can use anchor links. You can do what I did just here. You can create a back to top link. A lot of different things can be done, but this is how you do it. So it's pretty easy. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you're subscribed because we publish new videos and tutorials here all the time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.